My question is to the Minister of Economic Development and ask what progress has he made declaring the Volvo Ocean Race stopover a major event under the Major Events Management Act 2007? Very good progress has been made. A paper has been approved by a Cabinet Committee and I expect the Government to endorse the declaration of the Volvo Ocean Race stopover next month in Auckland next week. Major events such as these are a significant contributor to New Zealand's economy, so there are a number of protections in the Major Events Management Act. For example, Mr Speaker, and I pick a random example, as the author of the Act said at the time it was passed, the legislation, and I quote, prohibits the on-sale of tickets at above their face value. As recent events show, and I continue the quote, Mr Speaker, those who buy up tickets and then seek to sell them at an unfair profit have deprived many Kiwi fans of the opportunity to attend big events. Why are these kind of protections under the Major Events Management Act necessary? Event organisers need to be confident that their investment and marketing are not undermined. As the author of the Act said at the time, organisers and sponsors make huge financial commitments to make these types of events a reality. And clearly they do not want others to free ride on their investments and trade off their goodwill. Indeed, Mr Speaker, there are those that would advocate these protections be extended to regional events, such as, I don't know, hypothetically, Wellington's homegrown festival. Although, presumably not in this case, the original sponsor of this Act. What reports has the Minister received that suggests ongoing behaviour contrary to the intent of that legislation? I have received a report as late as this morning highlighting the problem of ongoing ticket scalping for upcoming events taking place in this case, Mr Speaker, apparently from a red-painted ticket sales office in Nainai, which, Mr Speaker, is possibly part of a chain of such offices all across the lower house. Notwithstanding that the alleged perpetrator has been quoted in the paper as saying it's not what it looks like, I think... In this case, it is what it looks like, and what it looks like is a clear case of do as I say, but not as I do.